Hello, I'm Angelism and welcome back to Raw 4X. So, uh, for you, not much time has passed since the last episode. For me, about, I don't know, like a week and a half has passed? Like, it's been a while for me since the last episode. And uh, I want to apologize for all the derping. I mean, it wouldn't be my channel uh, if I didn't derp enough. But, um, yeah, I've, I've learned a fair bit about the game since then. I've played... Uh, a few offline games, and I have learned that our point defense cruisers are completely inadequate because we should really have some turrets on them as well, and some other things, and we should have some resolution zero sensors, but that's going to be something we'll think about in, in the future. Today we have to save the, uh, the reference of our last force, who, you know, completely inadequate point defense led to this, so we need to save all the survivors who, well, we've got an interesting situation. Some of our ships are capable of well, being stationary. I mean, honestly, they don't do much other than be stationary, but they're capable of being stationary. Um, they aren't really capable of doing much more than that. They don't have any fuel, because their fuel got kind of sprayed into space. Sadly, we should probably think about having multiple cargo holds. Uh, fuel tanks, not cargo holds. Fuel tanks in future, so that if one gets holed, we don't lose all of our fuel. Uh, I kind of would assume that one giant fuel tank would still have some sort of baffles in it and, you know, uh, Kevlar padding to stop shrapnel flying through the tank. And, but apparently, uh, you no, know, in space these are one giant tank, so put multiple of them in or you will end up with a situation like this. Uh, we also have enemy spaceships in the system. We do not know where. We have lost everything. Uh, we'll try and get the active sensors online when we can. Although that might draw attention to us, so I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, they did leave us, and we've still got ships alive, although not able to move, so I guess they just run out of ammo. I would love to take the system, mainly because the sheer amount of research data that is here. These precursor ships, and they are definitely precursor ships. We fought them before, they've not got anyone in the system, they must be precursors, like robot ships they leave behind after they died out. The, the technology on these ships, especially, like, there's, there's ships here of, like, 65,000 tons. So, it will be incredible for us to be able to get that. It will launch our civilization years into the future. There is so much worthwhile in this system, but we need our new military to do that. So, that's thinking through our head. In the short term, we need to save the crew of our ships, and we have a couple of ways of doing that. Firstly, we do have a VIP shuttle. The VIP shuttle can carry, like, five people, though. We have to save... 119, 116, 200... 59. Take them to the Sandman. Over here. Uh, 90, 162. Um, a fair few over here. 122, 79, and 190. Charles Judge, Yofu, and uh, Fleet First Gen. I don't know who's actually left in Fleet First Gen. Let's have a check. Fleet First Gen. Uh, it's. Um, Wazak. Wax, Waxer. Right, I'm just going to detach you, I think. Just because right now there is no Fleet First Gen. And I'm going to abandon the Fleet First Gen since there's no one in it. Delete. Since none of you are actually capable of moving, it'd be easy just to be able to see the names of the craft. Uh, what I've got to do now is either get the shuttle over, take everyone out of their pods, five by five, and load them into the ships that are capable of sustaining life support. Effectively use these as refuges and then try and send someone in to actually get people off of those ships and escape that means sending in a bigger ship though not sending in some little jump shuttle jump shuttle is small on sensors because it is well it doesn't have any active sensors pinging and it's got a very small engine as soon as we send in a large ship we are much easier to target and they will notice us they may not have any ammo but they may do we don't know so it's a risk. I think what we do to begin with is we try the jump shuttle, and then if need be, we'll see who's in the nearby systems. We actually do have some uh, gravitational survey vessels in Barnard Star. I'll bring down the galaxy map. Hup. We've got some gravitational survey vessels in Barnard Star, and they might be able to get there in time. So if we want to bring in reinforcements, we can. I'm just going to leave that on my second monitor now so I can just keep a general idea of what's going on. I'll bring it down if you need to know anything specific. So we need to launch our VIP jump shuttle. Remember, it's not got very much lifespan in terms of uh, supplies on board, so we need to do this pretty quick. Uh, bring it down, start transporting people around, and then maybe even bring in the GSVs. Now, first part of call before we do that is we have to issue some orders in terms of these ships. We have to tell them 
to repair. So I would like to talk to the Charles Judge. Damage control. Right. Um, engineering space. Begin damage control. And then I will add to Q. The reason is these will help me with the damage control. Uh, then I would like to get the shields online. Weapons aren't going to do very much for me. I don't think I have uh, much left. I mean, I don't have any active targeting sensors, so I don't think there's much point in me doing this. Um, in, like, getting weapons online. I've got no way of targeting them. Um, you're all fine because you're the newer types, aren't you? You're fleet second gen. Bob's the movie. We have magazine, engine, it won't matter because he fuels out. I mean, we could, you know, refuel you. I guess we could refuel them. If we get a GSV there, we add them to the fleet, we go uh, split fuel. Uh, but we don't have a jump ship to jump them out with. Yeah, so we can't do that. We just have to use them as refuges for now. We can always put the engine online and then just back them away towards the jump point. So we'll start with the bridge. Then we'll get... Um, actually, well, I've done that, so we can the damage control. Uh, then add Q... How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two. And get the engine back online and then get the shields back online. Charles Judge already did. Yofu. Engineering space and then a shield. And then fuel stores. If you can get the fuel stores online, that'd be grand. Uh, Sandman. You can damage control. Add a couple of those to the queue, and then add that. And then the engine. Kind of need that engine online. Ward. Pretty similar story, actually. They've all sustained very similar injuries, although I guess the guys who didn't sustain similar injuries are dead. Uh, we have lost a lot of people, and for that, I apologize. But oh well. We will have to make a monument. A monument to our sins. Uh, engineering spaces. Wow! You lost a lot of engineering spaces. I will also have damage control online if we can. And then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Fuel. Um, both engines down on you. Yeah, so once we've got that online, we should be able to hopefully move them backwards. I think that is it. Right. So. Let's find out how long of a journey it would be to Signy. It's uh, 7.5 billion kilometers. Banner Star is 1.7. Mm, that's, that's pushing it. How much range does our jump shuttle have? It's the Sol... Solcyon. Uh, your range is... Will a 4 billion kilometers spare? So yes, we can make it. Don't we don't have long on station, but we should have time enough. Uh, we're about what? How far are we from the jump point? Two billion. Ooh, that's nine point five, which brings us to nineteen. It's a nineteen million billion kilometer round trip. Okay, so it's a 19 billion kilometer round trip for the jump shuttle from the base on Sol. It has fuel for 19.7 billion. Uh, 19.6. So, oh, that is really tight. And you see, if I click on here, it says 7.5, 7 uh, 7.5 billion kilometers. I believe it is, uh, yeah, distance from the selected system. So, though I guess if we go to Barnard Star, can we refuel in Barnard Star? I don't know if you can refuel a fighter. I don't know if you can refuel a fighter, but I'm going to assume we can do an in-flight refueling. So, if we get the fighter going to Signy, we start getting a tanker en route. 
Tankers might... How, how, how quick are my tankers? This is actually becoming an issue now. The speed of my forces to be able to carry out such a complex logistical puzzle. Um, spooky Doom. Three kilometers per second, effectively. Three kilometers per second. Both in Sol. You've got no orders. You're doing my refueling from the... Uh, group in orbit over Uranus. Okay. Let's start doing this. I would like you to go to Barnard Star... And I'd like to, you to get to the 61 Signy jump point. Don't transit, just move there. Your job is to refuel the jump shuttle. The GSVs, who are in the nearby system. No other orders, excellent. I would like you to remove your orders, and I would like you to go to the 61 Signy jump point. I would like you to move to there, do not transit. Then, fighters, VIP shuttle, uh, it's in the Firebird squadron, I'm going to launch. And I believe that should put it in our list. I don't know what it appears as. Uh, VIP shuttle, Firebirds, there we go. Right. So, of course, the uh, the saving of the, the people stranded in Barnard Star, who only have... I don't know how much fuel they have, uh, life support they have. Let's check. I think it's... Mm, I'm going to take that as 13 days. So they have 13 days of life support, I think. So I guess not urgent, urgent, but there's only one person who can get into that system without being detected. Possibly. Might still be detected. And that is the VIP shuttle. So we're going to try using the VIP shuttle. It is, of course, a volunteer um, mission. The crew of the VIP shuttle have, uh, you know, agreed straight up. They put themselves forward. They stood forward and said, you know, we're the only people who can do it. We volunteer ourselves. And uh, the Elysian Empire has taken them up on their offer. We're going to jump to Barnard Star. And then I want to Banff into Signy. Uh, how long will that take? All orders. Time and distance. It doesn't say. Okay, well, it'll take you 21 hours to get to Barnard Star, apparently. Okay. Let's start jumping at three hour intervals. Remember, each hour will count. Error five, error five, error five, error five, error five, error five, error five. Really? You're going to give me a... Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I just say, did a lot of work. Please don't do this to me. Okay, well, it looks like uh, Aurora has met its match today. I think we'll need to force shut it down. Okay, I figured out what it was. Uh, Era 5 relates to a database entry that is no longer valid or there. I checked around took a while, but I found one ship that had an order to go group up with the first gen fleet. Of course, I have deleted the task group for the first gen fleet, so that was no longer there, and thus it was no longer valid as a target, and it was throwing an error. And Kitty, get down. Bad Kitty. No climbing across a command console when I'm going to control an entire stellar empire. That would be bad. Uh, so yeah, I've now sorted that. Fingers crossed. Yeah, no more error. Sweet! Otherwise, that would be terrible. Uh, right. Let's have a look. Uh, I think I need to order a couple more people around. So the GSC 3 is you need to go to the SIG jump point. Uh, move 2. I need... I think the tanker still needs to come through to SIG. So that's through Barnard Star. This is the great thing about having the, uh, the map on my other screen. So I can just be like, I know the directions. Yes. Ha ha ha. I don't know the directions, I just happen to have the map up. Uh, and then I'd like to go to Barnard Star, and then jump to Sig. And I would like to show on map, how do I... Is there a way to just view? On map? Center on map? I don't think there is from this. Fine, we'll do it manually. 
Take me to Sol. And I might just for the moment, um, where is it? Display to get rid of all the civilian ships. So hide civilian ship names. There we go. It's under contact filter. For the life of me, some of these options are under contact filter. Some of them are under display. It's a bit of a mess, but there we go. You can see we now have civilians marked like that, but we can pull them off if we want to. Um, I guess I'll leave the mineral packets on screen. They are a bit busy, but yeah. Come on, are we going to zoom in or not? I just pressed the zoom in button. Whoa, suddenly we zoom in. It's very slow reacting in Sol. I'm assuming that's because we've got stuff going on, but really? This much? This is pretty slow. Alright, Earth is here, so if we wait five minutes... The VOP shuttle is moving out. And we're successfully repairing... Okay, right, let's start uh, one hour. More repairs. More repairs. I mean, they're repairing pretty quick. For stuff that was really badly damaged, they're repairing pretty damn quick. Okay, so how long is this roughly going to take us? Like, we've been waiting a few hours and we're jumping a at start. It is pretty close in system. I'll take the auto turns off and we'll do it by hand. Our question is transiting from Barnard Star through to Signy. It is a bit more of a jump. Boop. Right, Barnard Star. Um, it's not that far of a jump. Yeah, I wonder why the map says it's such a long distance. It says it's 7.5 billion kilometers. I assume that maybe is like measuring to the center of the system or something. Well, we're going to wait another, what was it? One hour? Um, probably eight hours. Three, three, three. Right, how are we doing in Signy? Still got a fair amount of time on the life support. Uh, I'm going to delete the waypoint because I don't need that anymore. Wait an hour. Wait an hour. Come on, jump shuttle. There we go. Jump shuttle. I'm going to put this on the other screen. Because what we're going to be doing is just ordering the jump shuttle to do, like, repeated trips. So, life pods, contacts. And effectively, we'll want to dump things onto the Sandman temporarily. Uh, and then get out system. Or we could just risk it and send in the GSVs. That said, if we lose the GSVs, that's costly. I think we send in the GSVs anyway. Split them up. The enemy did back off. Okay, I'm gonna send in the GSVs. So, the VOP shuttle is just gonna stand on station just in case we need it. And now I'm gonna get the GSVs in. Right, so we've got two GSVs, uh, which are gravitational survey vessels. For those of you who uh, aren't using the acronyms, I'll be pretty much resorting to using acronyms from that because I cannot be able to say Gravitational Survey Vessel every time. Uh, detach. The Peter Taylor, and quite frankly, the Kvalin, because I don't really want a group with just one person in it. Delete the task group. Kvalin, here's your job. We're going to hit the Wall of Shadow, the Sekuli, the Benjamin. So, life pods. Standard transit. Wall of Shadow. Sekuli and the Benjamin. Then uh, it didn't take the Sekuli for some reason. There we go. Then I'll get the Peter Taylor 
the Peter Taylor's job is going to be a little bit more risky. It's going in further in system and it's collecting a lot more people. We'll be hitting up all of these, which is quite a lot. So that'll be the Eric, the Kevin, Wing Zero, Latius, Dom Blitzador, and the Bob Zimuvi. And that is an enemy wreck over there, isn't it? Yeah, a couple of enemy wrecks. And then we can always try and fuel up the other ships, but then we can't really get them out of the system without jumping them. We don't have anything that can jump them, so I don't really see the point. Um, probably just abandon the ships. Right, so, one hour. Crap. Twenty minutes. Is it coming towards us? If it's coming, to No, it's moving away. What sensors do we have up? I mean, we have sense contact with this thing already, which is crazy. Do we have active sensors up? Because if we have active sensors up, I'm going to bring them down. I don't want to be... I want to be running as quiet as possible. We've got active sensors up. I'm going to active off. Active off. I can't even see our active sensors. Do we even have them on? Am I just imagining things? Right. One day. Ten days of uh, supplies left. Yeah, even with active sensors off, we can see the troll is moving away. They've all run out of fuel. I don't really have any. Uh, what else have we got? Research into micro-focusing technology has commenced. I just lined up even the cheap crap that I'd missed from beforehand. I probably shouldn't be doing this, but anyway. Um, I mean, they're good for fighters, I guess. Menorah shortage in Corundium. We always have that issue. Isaac is unable to set all five of its special survey locations. And as per Secretary Orders of Valance, he's been assigned the following order. Unload colonists at Luna. So, Isaac, let's talk to you. GEV Isaac. Where are you at the moment? You're in Barnard Star. We've got 100% survey on Barnard Star. We've got 100% everywhere except for Proxima and Ross and Glees and Alpha Centauri. I suspect that's because some of those are pretty far out of the system, so we're not looking for them. By default, your ships don't look for anything beyond 100 billion kilometers, um, which is, you know, somewhat sensible. Although I have had a system where you've jumped in the middle of the system and it's like, oh, the only things around the system, oh, it's a binary. And the second star is 120 billion kilometers away, at which point you might as well just go, uh, it's easier for me to jump like five more, six more systems on than ever go anywhere near that. So far away. Um, do I hit up Proxima or do I hit up Ross or do I hit up Glees? Where is your counterpart, the Deccan, in Proxima? So we should probably hit up Glees, maybe? So jump to Sol. Jump to Glees and then try and do a bit of a look around there. In the meantime, we're going to get back to work over here. One hour. Three hours. Eight hours. Eight hours. Oh, the troll is coming back. What speed is it moving? moving fast. It's moving faster than us. After one of it's reloaded. It may have just sensed us. I can't risk more lives. I think I have to do the VIP shuttle tactic. Damn. Move all. Uh, move towards the Barnard Star jump point. 
Move all. Move towards the Barnard Star jump point. No, not standard transit. Sorry. I just move towards it for now. Move to. And by the way, where's my fleet second gen right now? Sol. No, I need you to get to Barnard Star. And I need to sit on top of the Signy jump point in case anyone moves in. Um, do you have scanners? Excellent. You do. I think I gave them short range ones, but I can't be certain. Um, move to the... Oh, for God's sake. No. Move to this. Move to the Signy jump point. Yes. Good. All right. Now, the shuttle's the only way we can do this. And even then, the likelihood of failure is very high. VIP shuttle. Life pods. Go with the nearest life pod. For start, we'll just go with move two. Three hours. Much faster. He is coming back. Okay. We're not going to have long, but we do have time on station. Which means we can start doing this backwards and forwards ferrying thing. I'm not sure if that means anyone will live, but we'll try it. Right. Hit up the Wall of Shadow, dump them in the Sandman. So I want you to hit up life pods. Oh god, no. VIP, there we go. Move to the life pods. Rescue survivors. Contacts, contacts, contacts. In the... Who is it? Sandman. Sandman, Sandman, Sandman. Life pods. Oh, task groups that we under, not contacts, sorry. Uh, Sandman, there we go. I can't... I can't... I have I have to use ships because I can't drop off people from a fighter. That is incredibly annoying. <sighs> Rescue survivors from the Wallet Child life pods and then I don't get the option to dump anyone. God damn it. Okay. Well, we've got no choice. We have to um, go home. Final star jump point. Standard transit. Sol. Standard transit. Earth. Um. PDC fleet. Land on a side mother ship. There we go. Just send you straight home. Hopefully you've got the range. Now the question is, do the GSVs go in? The GSVs are going to get there about the same time as the enemy. Which means that they're probably going to get shot at. The question is, are the GSVs going to try and move there under enemy fire? I don't think I can give the yeah, GSVs that order. I don't think I can give the GSVs that order. I don't think I can tell them to rush headlong into enemy fire. That would be, that'd be dangerous. It would be irresponsible. And frankly, um, it would be, a, it'd be a risking the resources of the Lysian Empire at a time when we've just taken a pretty heavy beating. Uh, and it would put, it would put the, the foundations, the, the, Survival of the entire empire at risk. Um, so I think they'll they'll have to come back. But they're ignoring orders. They're gonna go in and gonna try and rescue their fellow crewmates. Probably under enemy fire, but they know the risks. Please don't we have like some sort of luck. Please, robot ship, we just want to rescue survivors. Maybe he's come back for survivors. 
Or he could be coming out for a survivor. So they've done it before. I hate that slowdown. It makes me think that they're launching missiles. They're launching missiles. 30 seconds. That feels like uh, intervals between firing missiles. <sighs> well, we're here now. Go, go, go. There we go. Um, they're actually not firing at our GSVs. They are firing at the ships that survived. The Charles Judge is getting hit. Nine points each time. So it's uh, the Draken Corrin anti-ship missile. So they are firing anti-ship missiles at us. And this is at the Charles Judge, which I believe... Yeah, it's the closest one. Now, here's the thing. The Charles Judge could abandon a ship. The crew could just bail out right now. But they're going to stick to their guns and go down fighting. The reason being, if they abandon their ship now, the Charles is going to shoot the next ship and the next ship, and then it will hit the GSVs, and the GSVs are the only chance to survive getting out of here. So the GSVs are going to try it while there's an active military ship nearby to get the survivors out and the crew of the surviving ships are just going to man their posts as they go down with their ships for the greater glory of the Iridescent Empire. Under enemy fire. The Ward's getting pummeled. Yofu's getting pummeled. If I hadn't about turned, we might have made it here in time. Wax has got pummeled. I think it might just be the, the Sandman. I think we, I think we have to bail. I think the GSVs have to retreat. The GSV is going to have to retreat. There's only one ship that stands between them and annihilation. And if the troll runs them down, they're dead. They have no armor. If I hadn't called them off to begin with, we'd have made it. Ah. God damn it. Massive, massive loss there. They've, they've got full missiles. Like, they are firing full racks of missiles at us. It's like, you know, 19 strength 9 detected. We're not going to stand that. Even one volley on the GSVs. The GSVs are just going to squish. Hello. He's backing away again. Stop. 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 The Sandman's still upright. I hate to say it, but are we going to turn around? We're committing. We're committing. We're going. He might have wasted his entire volley there. He might be going back for reloads. I don't know. I don't... I don't know if they can reload because they don't have a base as such. But we're going to try it. Right. Go. 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 Then we abandon the Sandman and we pick up from the Sandman. Right. Five minutes. 20 minutes. An hour. He is moving away. He's turned off his active sensors. In which case we're committed. 
Oh, maybe one of our ships, our military ships, no longer has sensors because it's dead. That might be it. And we had the active sensors on the ships for seeing them. That might have made sense. Okay. So now we're basically operating blind. And I don't want to turn on any of my active sensors because then we'll be a giant target. So we're now operating in the dark. The only hope. Uh, we have the second gen fleet and now at the gate. So if they do jump through, which they probably won't do, precursors tend to guard their planets. This is Operation Alan Rickman. I really hope it works. Come on. I know, for a lot of people this is going to be like pretty boring, but for a lot of other people, like me, this is a daring rescue. Right, here we go. We've rescued 259 people. 119. 116. We're going to abandon the Sandman. Right, so... Sandman, 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 Sandman. There we go. Damage control, abandon ship. Five seconds. Oh, wrong button. That's the right button. Uh, Kvalen. Life pods. Sandman. Right, that's it. Now the question is, how many survivors have we got up here? Can you take them all? I'd be pushing it to get this many people on board. Now, if you go over the maximum amount of people, you get people like sleeping in hallways and stuff, you get much more regular failures. This is a lot of people to be taking on board. The standard crew for GSV... Let's find it. Um, I can't remember what our GSV class is off the top of my head. This is what happens when you don't play in a little while. Uh, hey, I got it right. Rock Mage. Is it Rock Mage? No, Rock Mages are too slow. It was a new class. I should obsolete them, by the way. Um, Tyler class, gravitational server vessel. 10,000 tons, crew of 211. So we're basically getting 10 times the crew. It's risky. Sending the Kavalan in as well, but we're going to do it. Go for it. Waxer, Yofu, Ward, Charles Judge. Share the load, people. Share the load. Now, last time he did go away, but he came back, so he could be coming back this time. So be fast. So I've been in there for 10 days now. How are we doing? Right. Peter Taylor. Bug out. Earth. Uh, unload survivors. Refuel. Resupply. And begin an overhaul because your maintenance supplies will start to dwindle very quickly. Kvalen. Pick up any survivors you can. Destination not found. There we go. Not an error five. Kvalen. Kvalen, Kvalen, Kvalen. Remove all. Life pods. No life pods left. Time for you to bug out as well. Barnard Star. Sol. Earth. Unload survivors. Refuel. Resupply. And begin overhaul. I will not. 
be relaxing until we're out of the star system. Operation Alan Rickman must be a success. Okay. Now this worries me. It slowed down a lot there. I mean, it's being overloaded. Um, blah, 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 blah. I think it just stopped because life support failures. I was worried it might be they caught up with us and started shooting missiles. That would have been very bad. Um, we're through. Whew, Nelly. Okay, right. Let's order some people back. Take people off station. Uh, the James, for instance. You are no longer needed here. Jump back to Sol. Go back to Earth. Um... I'm not going to refuel you, I'm just going to leave you there. I don't want to fill up the entire thing. And I'm going to send the cruisers back as well. Uh, wrong one. Fleet second gen. Jump back to Sol. Earth. Refuel, resupply. And yeah, begin overhaul. Won't take you long. Operation Alan Rickman was a success. Close. But it was a success. Now we just need to get our revenge. Which of course will involve me doing one thing. Before we do that. And that is overhauling our new... Point Defense Cruiser. Which I'm trying to find now. I cannot remember what I named it. That does not help. I know. The Vastran was our frigate. Um, Shul slash uh, class carrier, right. I will be probably removing the normal weapon and I will be giving it some better point defense in terms of I'll be giving it a dedicated um, we've got, well, we've got a dedicated resolution one scanner but I'll probably be giving it more missiles whereas we've only got currently got five that needs to be more and I'll probably be giving it uh, a turret of some kind. So maybe we'll design a turret next time as well. And that turret will be an anti-missile uh, turret, effectively. Which is different from a uh, closing weapon system, the SeaWiz. The SeaWiz only fires when the missile is actually attacking this ship. Because it's literally like last line of defense. It fires as it's just closing the very last distance. Uh, basically, so close it wouldn't be able to cover any other ship. Whereas if we actually get like a Gauze turret up and running, the Gauze turret can cover the entire fleet. Pretty short ranged. Much shorter range than, say, the anti-missile missiles. Uh, wrong one. There we go. But should be good enough. So if we dump this uh, anti-missile system, we can get a bit of range here. And I don't know what we do about the rest. I don't know where we're going to get rest of the, uh, uh, the the hull size I need to be able to have some like guns, effectively. I don't know where I'm going to put the turrets. I will find some space. I'll probably do it in between episodes. Uh, just to make sure that I've got the space and then I'll go through the designing of the turret with you guys on the camera. But Operation Alan Rickman was a success. We did manage to save everybody who didn't die. Um, roughly, we got about 200 people from each of the cruisers. How many people does a Spirit of Craig class carry? About 500. So we lost about 60% of our crew. So, uh, in that battle, we probably lost about 3,000 trained crew. So, yeah. Um, a bit of a massacre, but we'll come back stronger. I've been at Relysium. This has been a daring rescue operation. Next time, we'll come back better, faster, stronger, and all that. And uh, with a new and improved fleet. Until then, though, just remember one thing. Stay shiny, and if you like, like, and all that stuff as well.